Hello everyone, it's Sky here again. Today we're gonna do something new. Well, it's not really that new, but I want to try make a video uh, specifically on a unit. So today we're gonna talk about uh, Bar Barbatos. So bear with me a little bit since this is my first one, but in the future I would like to do specific unit explanation as well. So I hope this one will turn out well. Um, so first I want to talk about like the pro of it first. It's a 2000k unit. Uh, this is a 2000k, 2k unit. It actually has pretty high HP. Some people would say that it has low HP, but 600 are quite high for 2k. It have high mobilities, uh, great trackings on main. Like the main shot, the missile thing that he shoot out is pretty pretty good trackings. He, it's easy, he's pretty easy to reach uh, 250 damage from melee alone, so that's pretty good as well. But in terms of priorities of the melee, it's not super. It's not bad. It's like okay. It's like okay. Um, but the melee damage are quite high for 2k. Uh, that doesn't mean that you should always melee with him though. But it's always good to know that you have uh, damage potential. There's a pretty simple overheat play you can play with him where you can use AC and then chain into sub. AC is like this dash thing and then you can chain into sub and then AC again so you can actually dash, sub which is um, assist. So dash, assist and then dash. You can do this backward, forward. So when you overheat you can do this and it's pretty good. So even without a sub you can AC backward into guard and then AC again and then guard AC got AC so it's a pre pretty strong have a pretty strong overheat play option in terms of escaping and stuff it have pretty good cancel route so pretty much a lot of thing uh, kind of con connecting with each other um, mainly connecting with AC you can main into 2B as well 2B is the jump thing and talking about that he have rainbow break the I don't I put it in the pro but it's not necessary that's super good it's just like okay that he have it because this one is a little bit uh the jump itself is a little bit slow but the animation of his landing is a little bit slow compared to um many better units that have this option so it's a little bit too slow to spam it but you can always use it as an escape option or just like a mid-range too so let's talk about the con of this unit. The con of him is he have low ammo. His main, I believe, have only let me double check real quick. He only have five main. So that's pretty low. So that's pretty low. You have to actually rotate using your CSA a lot. And also you wanna use your ammo when you think it's gonna hit someone. Like you can't just spam it. So that's something you have to be careful about when you play him. Um, the AC movement backward that, I, that we were talking about earlier, it's a little bit, it's great for most of the thing, but it's kind of weak against um, high muscle correction attack or stuff that can you can hold, such as MG and Gerobi. Because even you move back, it doesn't cut tracking. It just have it just move really far, so. If someone get Robi you and MG you, the shot will still track, so it's kind of hard for you to actually defense. But you might be able to just like AC back and then guard. But uh, you will mostly have to guard rather than just be able to escape with it with the AC. You mostly will have to guard. In additional, um, another thing that I want to mention is that it's a pretty mid range unit in terms of red lock, because his red lock, his red lock, is not that far, which. Com combine that with the low ammo play um, it might be a little bit tough to play for newer players um, but I think these units are fine for intermediate and advanced player it's hard for newer players because you have to manage such a low ammo count even as it's, it's a great ammo right like it's kind of high tracking but it's pretty low so it mean that and it's a mid range it's mean that you have to play a dodging game in mid range and sometimes you actually have to um, melee. So the common melee that you will see is somebody uh, land, if he if Barbatos land a main, you'll just AC dash 
into melee or just AC dash into another shot. But if you don't have ammo, you you, you want to doubt a person, you have to AC dash into a, a melee, right? So for a newer player, that is pretty risky since you're not experienced in movement yet. Um, make you prone to getting attacked when you go in. And it takes a lot of experience to know when to be able to go in when, to, uh, when you can. So, but if you like to play this unit anyway, I think it's okay. Um, just you're gonna have a little bit of problem with that if you're new. So, make sure your partner know that you might die first. <laughs> Would be a good idea. Next, let's talk about the uh, burst. Um, for his burst, there's two come on burst. Um, well, there's two that being used. Which is fighting, and not it's not super come on, but sometimes you can see fighting uh, to increase his damage even further. But of all the things that you can do, you can actually main into AC, and then main it'll look like um, he'll dash into a shooting, and then you can actually AC again without uh, uh, with use uh, as a natural cancel from F burst into AC again. You can spam that and you can end with super, which is pretty powerful. Um, I'll find an example for that and put it on the screen so you know. Um, and the most common burst is S burst, which is shooting burst. Because it's improved his main, he have pretty good main and low ammo. So S burst, uh, shooting burst will improve the ammo reload time and also will uh, improve your shooting, let you spam the shooting, which is pretty good. E bursts are pretty rare for... Uh, him it's funny because that's what I used when I was playing um, the beta but um, that's because I didn't do that much research when I was doing the, the beta I just kind of play <laughs> but now that I do the research I can see that um, it's more common to use shooting and F burst so that's pretty much it for the overview next we're gonna go into watching replay and see how people hash out like the gameplay of hims I'll post the link to all the channel where I get the video from like usual so you can you should go check those channel out I don't really have the gameplay myself but in general I don't really want to use my own gameplay that much anyway unless I play really well because um when I do this kind of explanation I just like you guys to be able to see you know the unit perform at the pretty high level so you can you uh, you know how it look like it perform well Unless I have a high level player with myself, then I would use my own replay. I mean, I can't, I don't have access to replay anyway, so right now. So you see, a uh, red lock is pretty slow, uh, short, like we said, so that's green lock. You have to move in a lot closer. Now in the red lock, the main is pretty good. That one is the assist, it's shoot three times. So if your assist hit three times, it will dial the opponent. It's also pretty good tracking, just like your main. Uh, it's the only problem is that it's a little bit slow, but it's not really that bad. So just talking about is really fast. Um, with this assist, it's pretty good to use in neutral. Um, there's another variant version of it, which you put, uh, you do um, four six, I believe, assist for six sub. Then you'll get the melee version of the assist, but this one is neutral sub. So with the nature of the shooting sub though, it's a little bit slow and high tracking. It's probably not good to spam then when your partner is like meleeing someone or something because it probably will hit him. That is the PL Kaku that we talked about or the Rainbow Break. Let me look. Wait, is it? I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, this. To do the 2B jump into dash cancel, and then your boost will recover at the end of your step. It just recover right at the end of your step rather than dealing with the normal overheat or overheat or boost recovery frames. Okay, so we go back in. Now the Piokaku. Piokaku are pretty fine uh, mid range. Or oh, Rainbow Break. I should say Rainbow Break more than Piokaku, and people will. Be familiar with it because the Japanese term of it. Um, this is what I was talking about. You, in order to um, keep your ammo up, 
you will see this a lot where you land a main and then you AC dash in. You AC dash in, main sub, and then like AC dash in to actually complete the combo with the melee rather than actually use the, the shot. Good damage there. It's a decent cut tracking too, that, that combo or that melee specifically. It's okay. Okay, so it's what I mean, like you gotta play pretty close, so if the enemy played pretty well, they could have hit you. This guy played pretty well so far, so he didn't get hit at all, but yeah, it's come on to, it's not uncommon to get hit since you're playing so close to the enemy. Our partner has already died, so now we can play a little bit more aggressive because they have 600 HP as well. Kyokaku, nice. Um, this is what I mean by it have pretty good mobility. I mean, just moving around itself is already really good. But you can move from one target to the next target pretty fast with the AC dash, like that one. Um, let me go back a little bit more. But you were attacking this guy, and then you just change target to this guy really fast. Our partner is locking on to that guy, that's why we didn't get hit, which is good. And you need pretty decent partner too, to be honest to play this effectively since um, it does need a partner to actually home in on the enemy as well and that's the burst it's just spam shooting main and you see how the main is um, you know reload pretty fast with the burst wonderful So that's the first replay, I'm gonna queue in another one and then that should be it for the review. Um, I don't know if I wanted to play, I'm thinking if I wanted to play like this like this crazy replay that I have, I'm not sure if I wanted to play that one or I wanted to play like the more usual one. I think I'm just gonna play the crazy one, but the usual one is pretty good too because it's more realistic how you play it. Uh, I think I'm gonna play the usual one, it's better. Okay, let's wash it. Okay, going to the side, partners reborn, CSA. Yeah, you need to mix in CSA quite a bit so that your ammo stay up. That's what we talked about earlier. Um, you'll see the dash backward quite a bit too. He's not using it, but I think he will eventually get hit there going back in yeah like the main into assist is pretty good too the assist is pretty good confirmed generally just pretty good all rounded attack yeah that's the dash backward I was talking about you see oh did I went back too far yeah I think I went back but that's the dash backward yeah like shoot dash and then shoot Good reposition and uh, repositioning too, uh, but again that movement since it's going in a straight line and doesn't cut tracking, it can be kind of weak to um, get Roby or high muscle correction attack or MG something like that. So that's something that you can hold. There you go. Another another one. Okay, let's continue washing. Yeah, that's great. 
Uh, let's see that really fast. Yeah, I like that. I like that movement. So we're gonna see it. And that was all in the Orihi play as well. Uh, let's slow that down a little bit. Okay, here. You see um, the overheat play is pretty strong in this little unit. Like main into dash, shoot, and then you he dash back out. Cause you, you and that's the end of your cancel route if you do the shoot. Unless you have a uh, F burst and you can continue doing it. But there you hit with the main and then you do the AC dash into melee. These are all during overheat. Get a full combo going there. And then at the end of the combo, you can dash out with the AC. It's pretty good sequence to be honest. Get back out to be in a better position. Yeah, like you have to kind of pace yourself well as well. But generally, you want to play kind of mid-range. Well, you don't have really that much option. You have to play mid-range because the red lock is mid-range. But you have to make a good decision of when to go in. So that's that's what I was mentioning. Like it can be hard for newer players, since like if it's not safe to go in, um, you might risk losing a lot of health. But generally, when someone not looking at you, you can just quickly go in. Ooh, that's what we're talking about like the dash back the dash back that we talk about is um, it get hit by Gerobi Nice Okay, I think that's a pretty decent video. That's it for the oh, I guess I'll show something really fast to yeah, I'll do one more video because I think it's good to show Okay, this one. Uh, this one, the comm is a little bit wonky, so just try not to worry too much about it. It's easy egg with the bubble toes. But this one, it actually had pretty good overheat play. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys this as well before we go. Moving to the side here. Fighting a Sion, moving back, Pio uh, Um. Just peel kaku like a lot here. See, this is what I was talking about. Um, let's slow that now so you can see it. Um, main assist AC. Then after you assist, you can dash again with our boost. If you have boost, it works too, obviously, but you can do it without boost. So if you have the assist up, you can do like a lot of crazy overheat play. You can move in a pretty good distance. Okay, so this is gonna be what I'm talking about, I think. He's gonna guard and then AC back during overheat. Guard, AC back. Shoot, guard, AC... Oh, he didn't AC back game, but you can AC back game if you want. Oh, this guy choose to do is 2B forward, and then um, I believe he assists. That's a pretty long sequence. Assists, and then AC back again. This is all during overheat play. Uh, let's watch that again. I like it, so. Without me stopping. Wait, it's way back. The entire, the entire sequence. Okay, here. Boom, boom, shoot backward, guard, AC back, guard, 2B, into, into main, I pause it, sorry, into CSA, <laughs> into CSA, and then dash back, assist, into AC, pretty nice. Yeah, like, you can do a lot of uh, cancel route play with him, so it's a pretty fun unit, to be honest. All right, move back. 
Yeah, you can use the 2B to escape, it's not too bad. And that's where all in overheat as well. Um, happened pretty fast, so we'll slow it down again so you can see it. Oops, I have to go back way more. Okay, so he land a shot there and then AC in and then assist into I believe this one is a BC just dash and after the BC you can AC so it's all overheat BC and uh, I mean AC into BC again um, that's a pretty good sequence to actually knock someone down without um, having boost like you AC into BC AC into BC again I think that's the end of the game. Oh, that's a pretty good thing to mention too, this this movement. Um, AC into BC is pretty strong mid-range. Mid to close range, like here. Like he's trying to dash in and then use the BC swing thing. You use it before you reach them, it have pretty big range. So if you use it before somebody come into you, like it'll be most melee because it have further range. If you do it before you reach them and then you can actually combo off it as well which he didn't but but you could and then super that's another cool thing to mention as well that he have a counter super where you actually put up your counters uh super armor guard um, what I didn't know before I watched this video is that like it can counter backward Because <laughs> like he put up his super this is super So it's a counter and have super armor. So they come from the back and then he get super <laughs> Pretty crazy But yeah, that's it for the video today. I hope that's helped um Again, I gotta remember to actually promote some of the group that I'm supporting nowadays. So as usual, we have two Discord group. We actually have three Discord group, but the, the main two one is um, Southeast Asia one and NA one. I'll leave a link in the description like usual. You should try to join them if you want to play Gundams. Um, and I hope the video is not too bad since it's the first the first time but i'm looking forward to do more of this kind of video for specific units um and before i go i just want to thanks people for the last week video um there's people that you know recommend some topic for me to cover which i will eventually i'll def uh, i definitely read it all the, uh, i definitely read all the comments and i appreciate that and yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to help support me, feel free to subscribe for more video and follow me on my other social media. The link will be in the video description.